Hey, okay, good morning. Saturday, a little bit earlier. Because I'm with this weather changes, I'm getting really, really sleepy, really fast through the sleepy day. Really fast through the day. So yeah, I today I'm gonna actually go in the morning first with the stream and eventual other lazy stuff later on. Besides, it's Saturday, maybe some of you can actually catch me. But we see. You see, I'm completely out of tokens. I have only three runs for dungeons left, but I will still run the Butcher today, because I need only one trade for Greatsword. So that's a good thing. And I have a lot of Abyssal tokens lying in my inventory again. Like, a lot. A lot, lot. So yeah, let's see. Let's see what we can do today. Let's see what Amida is got. Yeah, I'm running uh, highest level for now because it gives most experience. Normally I would run them at Sandworm layer to have chance for this pouch, because as you can see, it has a Queen Belandir Soul Fragment. So, that's the way to run those things. But I actually just want to max them out so they have uh, access to everything, because you also have Queen Belandir Fragment in Grey Blue. I actually have. Okay, even more reasons to level them up. Because they are all forest here for free, and we yeah, have higher chance for stuff. Uh, more candy corns. They need to do something about this. I don't want to run the dungeon over and over again. I have 15! We need to run it 15 times. <laughs> they can do. I mean, it would be bad to just suddenly just slap an exchange and not run dungeon at all, but maybe... Uh, maybe put like three types of chest at the end for like one candy corn, three candy corns and five candy corns. Yeah, to open a chest. Yeah, so at least uh, I could be done at least in few runs instead of 15, you know? Oh boy, we see. How are we gonna go about it? The battle pass is done. I'm not a fan of this outfit, but uh, I bought battle pass for trade stones mostly. Because those are really hard to get by. Okay, I have a desert caravan. Oh, it's guild one. Oh, sucks. That actually sucks. Let's see if I could maybe reroll the contract for something else. I've been doing the caravan for way too long. Way too long. It's great XP for the guild though. Because me alone, if I manage to get rank 1 to rank 3, I'm contributing 50% as a one person. And it gives a lot of XP. I'm gonna keep it for the last time. And then actually swap. I'm getting tired just of running the same thing, you know? I need the peace uh, Desert Scarven or maybe Dominion to be actually effective. Because if you want most coins, you need to gather at least 1000 coins from Desert Caravan. I have one at three to work, one at six, and I will be done early with a contract. I'll probably do that. For now though, Saturday morning is a really good time to run Abyssal tokens, because yesterday at Saurodoma, already somewhere past 12, it was getting really busy there, and it was really hard to actually have a consistent grind there. You, adventure. But like there? before 12, sure we had a whole leg for one group, it was so good. I don't remember doing contract, but I don't mind. <laughs> I'm 
point that I need I run out of cards because of this. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the fault because this inventory is a mess. And I need one more sword. One or trade stones to actually unlock like like last trade because I have like a bunch of weapons in my board waiting to be put there. Purples and things. And if I get the blessing also I can uh, at least guarantee myself some blue blue trades working on epic. Right. So if I don't have caravan now, because th this this is not gonna be worth it. Why? Even if it's little people for like dominion or, or stuff if you wanna be efficient you have to run a pve aoe build you know to actually be efficient with gathering the coins but if you have guild or dominion you're gonna be running different build because you don't wanna die to someone and lose all your scales you know? and that makes you ineffective in actually gathering those scales because you're gonna be focusing more on single target damage then, for PvP. This is good if you actually have a guild, right? because then you would have like, hey, one guy contributing uh, scales with his PvE build, actually blast the big groups of mobs and the rest of the guildmates just protecting him and just gathering something on the way to In Dominion it's just pure luck, because Dominion right now is a bit of a mess. Yeah, for this, if you actually want to push your guild level fast, you need to have a peace one. And you need to be having uh, this kind of build with a lot of AoEs. The problem is, a lot of AoEs means a uh, little single target damage, yeah? That's why it's not suitable for PvP. Strong guilds need big benefits. I think I'm gonna go with my tokens, because look, I have to click 70 times again. Because I finished battle pass. And yeah, what do I have? To, oh, I have 20 on Saurodona. I prefer Shadow Crypt because from Shadow Crypt I had so many more better items. I sold uh, Sabatons for 400 Lucy yesterday. I would convert them, but uh, I don't know. I still didn't drop the freaking bridges, it's just, oh, I dislike the Saurodoma a lot when it comes to items that drop there. It's a bit easier to do as a contract, but, uh, hmm. I'm not gonna, maybe you can have some items, but... Usually uh. I'm dropping these freaking huts that are worthless because they are for wisdom build. I dropped this stuff yesterday, at least it came with heavy attack chance. This I never dropped in my life here. This I dropped only yesterday, and this I never seen. Yeah. So, in my... I think I spent around 60,000 Abyssal tokens, and I dropped two epic items in all those. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't know. I really don't know. How to make it work? <laughs> should I go here or should I go Shadow Crypt and just convert my contracts? I mean, Sarutana is not, not bad because uh, let's see. Either those breaches, well, I dropped plants yesterday, but I was also considering because they have dexterity. But they don't have any evasion though. It's not good. I'm yeah, gonna try Saurodon and see how the parties are going there because I'm losing daylight. If I'm not going any event now. Might as well. I wonder if they count as a wild. We have a guild contract for them. Okay, let's see what's going on. How many groups we have? It's weekend, so it could be more than yesterday. Damn, yesterday was such a good grind here. I wasn't streaming, but uh, man, it was so good. 
I can see mobs. There might be already people. But not uh, that many to actually... Do you have mobs standing? So there's no group. So let's start picking some contracts. Just avoid the cr crystal flower if you are grinding on this lake because crystal flower is all the way up. So you will have to abandon your team if your team decides to grind here, particularly. Uh, yeah, and they might simply kick you. And just too much working. Just butcher is fine. This guy is alone. I, I don't think he can take. It, although he's, I think he's stuff in a wand. Yeah. He's probably hoping that someone is gonna take his mobs. I know that play very well. <laughs> and I'm usually not forming any parties here. If I see one, I join. If someone invites me, I join. It's okay like that. Otherwise, I'm usually keeping to myself. And if you are grinding solo, this Guardian I have now is very good. Because it's going to help you to keep on the slightly bigger group. But I screwed up because they disrupted my skill again. The one minute I to be hard to revive. Otherwise, they will be dead if the skill would actually get in. I already wrote feedback to on Discord about so these mods, we are talking abyssal mods, yeah, disrupting the skill with their normal attacks. This shouldn't really happen. Because there they have a lot of fury attacks, so having the normal attacks still disrupt my skill that has such a long cooldown is a bit, a bit unfair, I would say. I would run here a different build for more solo targets and more damage, but once I join the party, I would have to already swap for AoE. Uh, the cooldowns are not helping with swapping the build. Um, just sticking to this for me. If the other build is suitable for me, like 2 or 3 months of max. Because it's uh, focused on solo targets and just occasional AoE and guillotine or other stuff. As you can see, there's always someone just jumping into the want contracts, they might not have tokens, but they just want to kill them. They want to kill whatever. Yeah, I forgot to stop clicking. Just for a moment, click them all. 67. That's 6,000, that's going to be 12,000. Kill myself in there. I could use a better great sword than the melee. I'm like gonna go dungeon once the night starts. So, yeah, we only have 40 minutes of day right now. Yeah, you see this build is pretty pretty hard to run away to do when you have just one mob. Because there is no design for it. It's not horrible, but it's just a bit slow. Why is my great sport showing? This is one of the bugs. <laughs> not funny, it's equipped, it's just a bug. Okay, let's click this. Everyone's looking for a group, but no one is making one. Holding a group yesterday. It was really nice, but um, I'm a bit tired after so many years to constantly coordinate groups and stuff. I got lazy. As I noticed, like every time people want a group, half of them is not following you anyway. They are just still wandering around this part, just killing someone's targets, random targets. Yesterday I had a great group because we were actually going all together. And they were actually catching them up so we can also get drops. We want just to 
sitting on a side and uh, tagging stuff that's not ours. I had the food. And then I have a green one. Okay. I'm gonna use the fish for now. Okay. Oh, I wanna keep the three because otherwise they're going to disrupt me a bit too much. Most of my skills. See how many attacks they have that already disrupt you? Yeah, the other solo build I have has some AoEs, but they are all charged ones. And here, charging skills is not very efficient because we're gonna get the up a bit too much. Maybe Shadow Crit is a bit better for that, but these guys are very annoying. Maybe I should start a group because there's just too many, too many people just wandering around their business. Start one, start killing stuff. They wanna join, right? If they don't wanna join them, they're not a problem. Guy, because he's going out. Oops. Hey, if you see someone like killing your mob but actually like sticking to you, invite them. Because that means they probably want to be like not used and uh, join the group. You are going to lose the aggro like, because you are. I began a bit. Range. Kill the mobs and the ranged ones, because ranged ones are not going to move. So. This is the best way to go about it. We go back. I like to actually go back. We need people to make it worth it. Worth, worth than getting a stun skill. We are not. <laughs> Never in my life I dropped this freaking punk skill. Actually, I do like them. I'm going to uh, evasion and crit. Maybe I can find some people there. Mm. Get this mob here so I can actually get some people on the way. Recruited. Re-announced, have more, maybe someone is gonna be tempted to join. These are going to spawn. Have a good rotation on the center, guy. Right? 
Okay, this is wrong, I'm not getting anything from here, I'm not coming back. The other one didn't spawn, there should be two mobs. Not a big deal. There's not that many people in the morning here. It's, it's the best time to, to do the abyssals if you actually uh, are not working. Uh, yeah. Oh, not that I did it. Yes, I did. Okay. Oops. On the go. Oh. On the sand. I'm gonna be close to something. Take this, but uh, sometimes it's better to just focus on smaller group, kill it faster and move on uh, full, bigger groups. Don't do that if you have a tank Because then you see I stun them, they moved, I was ready to blast, but uh, no, I couldn't. He moved the whole group. This is good in dungeons like uh, Death Abyss, because there you actually want to push mobs to the wall or, or things like this, you know? This is useful. Not here. Because I think we have people like pulling too many mobs now. See, that's what I'm talking about. They are going on their way somewhere else instead of following the group. This guy's fast, we're going to pull another one. Oops, I think these guys are going to pull. As a leader, it's your responsibility to pull the mobs mostly, so keep on over to go. And to ensure your group gets uh, of mobs. I'm going to pull this one. Continue the grind here. Start pulling this. I can take care of that. If you have other groups like the Roman, you know, make sure you also tag this mob properly, you know, not just pull them, because that means they are still not tagged to your group. Right? So they are not yours. If you actually auto attack them. Right? This is that item I don't want. Because <laughs> bad stat, not useful for me, I don't need hats anymore. I prefer the, the other. I have a butcher. Pick up more contracts. Uh, well, I've been lost in these papers. There's no flowers, please. Just butcher is fine. Two more flowers, tails, one more. But don't pick up flowers. Go, guys. I have a whole camp here. Don't worry about the loot, like I'm leaving a lot of loot behind, but it's not going to disappear anymore. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. A whole group is sitting somewhere else. And I'm the biggest fool on my head, you know? And I need to, like, take care of it, be able to take care of it. I 
we don't have a healer, so I'm gonna be excellent. Okay. But this guy didn't have it because if you have a great score, you have passive to reach uh, hit points per hit, yeah? And this guardian is actually releasing uh, projectiles, extra projectiles. You get extra leech. See how many people is here now? Got them. That right there. It's, uh, yeah, like I said, it's close to 12 here, and we are starting to have swarms of people. Very good idea, let's pull this drone in. Oh! Oh, I think there will be a uh, response. I don't have to keep all of those, so we can keep going. Oh! This didn't respawn so this is bad. We could go over here. Mops, we have like six mobs. This is a good filler, this corner. Very good filler because then we can go back to the beat and we don't have the mobs. Huh. I'm really scared to get damage because they might not have that many big things. Or evade our stuff. Okay, we have mobs. So if you are sure you like, no we don't have tokens to restore when you are running out of them, make yourself that crap food gives you efficiency on spend a bit of tokens, it's very useful. Look, we have these groups, we can actually now circle nicely these groups in this area without wasting too much time on This way we can keep some decent amount of mobs here Okay, just a group. <laughs> now this is a big way to they, were, they were spread, yeah. so if you actually have to put them together, so this is a good way to actually push them off. Let's see, do we have mobs here? Not really. But I don't mind. Oh, actually, let's go here. I have only seven. Tiles, really? We are pulling from both directions, directions of meeting them, so we make sure none of them is going to be ugly. This is basic knowledge, but not that. Uh, this might be someone's first MMO, you know, and they might not know such things. Turn around, make a circle, grab someone.
weapons down the road. See, my turban is still here, so the loot doesn't disappear that fast. You don't have to worry if you miss something in a, this kind of a rotation. Okay. We don't have this terrible situation yet. That's a long that fail already, right? Eh? My stuff is working. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, when there's a lot of people, I'm always rushing to do mobs. I'm sure we get a good loot. Stop damaging them if you pull another round. At some point, it might be too much. is doing good job because he's pushing all the mobs towards the center. This is a good coordination thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, appreciate your time guys, because uh, soon we might not have that many because of the amazing uh, changes to the loot. No? Okay, let's... Mm -hmm. Party, honey, I have no one. Stop advertising and then I wait for someone to say if he's looking for a group or not, and then invite them. Okay. Actually, have mobs. Open more papers because I um, will be with some contacts. Mm, no flower. Good. Don't wait for just one contract to be done because we, we keep going, killing mobs. Yeah? Keep on going, keep going. Contracts. Advertise again here. Maybe people in the other arena, area didn't see the invitation. Yeah, keep it, keep it back. Very, very hard to, to find people who understand the pull to the range map. There's more people knowing how to, how to put behind the corner rather than in this open area to the range. Oh, 
too many four people that are doing actual work. The speed uh, coordination is good in this team. Even if it's just four people. This one. Oh. Perfect. Fine. Oh. No. Good choice. <laughs> Here, the, the, the duration and instant healing is very useful for the party. Because it not only heals people and increase their hit point speed, it is uh, increasing the attack speed. This is very important. Pull the damage, pull the rest, get it away from the other party. Ouch. Oh, the it for fast damaging. This garden has a lot of users, so since it, in all of the area you see here the blue circle is going to release projectiles, it's very useful to need to like just tag something really fast. I didn't have to actually you don't have to pay attention to tagging. Try to pull this before someone else does. One. So it should probably do a circle. Or someone will butcher me. I don't think Butcher ever dropped me any kind of speed on me. These enemies are very, very poor. Okay, in the moment. Join the group. I have the mobs here ready, so we should go there. It's not really fast. Oh. One, two, three. Keep it going. Yeah, we we'll always go ahead because we have a group ready now for the team to come and then we're gonna blast. At least you have lots more control to the pulling direction. We are the first one to pull. So we dead. We are lucky this group to also come by <laughs> while we are pulling and uh, have extra two mobs. But don't chase them because they might lose aggro over everything else. Oh, we died. Back. 
Ich schon da drin noch direkt nach Füßen. Ja, ne, von... Ich werde ein paar auf diesem Ort. So, ein Arsch. Ein Go pull the other group. Because if you have this waiting for you, if you have a group, uh, you don't want to waste time on just one monster. Because uh, the other party might spawn and that's why it won't group away. Also don't pull if you have for like 8000 hit points for the other one sort of one. I'm confident with pulling because I have a lot of evasion for now. It's a lot of known, but it's but yeah, it's pretty safe. I feel I feel confident huh? This is why I keep this build, I don't know if you the party from too too fast, I wouldn't have time to, to swap. Okay, so now someone should pull this more, because we have like a single people going around. Going about their business, okay, I'll probably make one small group out of this. Someone in the are going here, so go pause them and start targeting this so we are sure you have the other location. Pulling further for the main break from here. So someone has to control that. Because we are not moving far. This sentry came back because it was too far. That's why I'm not pulling this move towards here. It's better if they go like this, um, in this direction. And I'll probably go kill something. Long me there. This is not bad. I'm just gonna explode ya. Say it's hardest to find time to do that. <laughs> Actually, I keep fighting, keep moving, and also shuffling your contracts at the same time. I don't want flowers. Oh. If you want more, you have a whole bar. This is a bit cool. Stop here so we don't break this one. Let them start killing gold. Or let someone else pull the rest. Like so, yeah, now I can go. Because I know that I'm, I'm not going to pull the group too early. Yeah? Then it's gonna break and that will suck. I'm not pulling them to sentries anymore. They won't allow me anymore. It is wasting time if you don't pull to at least one range, but uh, not every group will uh, follow that, so 
You wanted this to thoroughly organize. Yeah. I'm tempted to pull this group. It's possible, I think. At least to this corner. Artwork is in general, not pretty. <laughs> we can't do much like that. Okay. These are stuck. Oh! Point six at all. Oh. Okay, the group is here. This one. Let's go, guys. I will have to pass because this didn't respawn either. As you can see, we just trying to pull more mobs, but it's gonna be too far. It's gonna be a little bit too far. Oh. Okay, I don't know. It is the full-time weapon. We have a absolute token contract of peace. I'm going to help you to drain a bit less. Oh, this is good, the battle of crimes, so I don't have twice as many here. It's good group again. It's good group and it's going really well because of the owl. Yeah, we are at hour 1220. Huh? We already have a bit more people than one hour before, but it's just pleasant, yeah. More pleasant because we don't have to fight for more. It's crazy. They are already killing that. So what do we need to do? Either we go past the push or we go here. And it's up to me as a leader because okay, let me get me. There's a group we're gonna waste time. I don't wanna fight over that. The last thing I need to join us. Let's join us. The group. Butcher. Butcher, butcher, butcher. For my party, okay. at least uh, this is what you should do as a leader. Like, uh, feed your feed your party the mobs, pull the mobs while they are doing something. You're gonna keep people more engaged when they see they have constantly something to kill. You know? This should spawn already now.
Okay, now. Uh, this should work. Not much. Make it interesting. Okay. Uh, okay. I don't even know why he wants to remove him. Uh, I do want to have full party in the end. But, uh, I think we should go here because we need a filler, you know. And, and I don't see any group like general in general group to watch all go here, here on these maps. Rotation. And it's not like they are strange to to go up or something. Yeah, this group is great to occupy a, a bit of time while we have someone else killing this part. Now we have this three, yeah? Mm -hmm. Indeed, Laden, Laden is doing, doing really good work to help me pull times. Just don't give me flowers. Future is fine. Just no flowers, please. <laughs> they are really off the path if you are grinding here. Oh jeez, going great. Now should go in a circle. So they pull from all the sides, so nothing is gonna get lost. I have a lot of stuff users, I think, because of all the circles on the ground. about to grind. I tried grinding in the evening, it's it's really really bad to grind in the evening. You have to go up actually if you want to have a decent decent grinder. Oh. This is awesome. I'm here to here. this part. I think there were no fury attacks, but my skills got disrupted. Pretty much. Also, please don't kick uh, people to disconnect. And this is actually very rude. Because it's not their fault. And we have this timer exactly to know if they just decided to lap, if they have electricity outage, or, or something happened. We had to go. I mean, it's not that much. It's really good there that this timer, but this is just enough time to look back, see? And you don't have to worry about kicking. Excuse you, you see, he just jumped at me and, and he disrupted me. I wrote feedback about this kind of attack, so maybe with normal models it's okay because they don't have that many fury ones, but these guys have a lot of fury attacks already, so they shouldn't disrupt our skills. Mm -hmm. Now we should push past this group, maybe the grazier, get us a butcher. Oh 
this, this is probably not the best part of the night and I would be going completely different view and it's not make for you here at all. I appreciate help here, like really. I don't know what's my party doing. I really want to finish the last contract pretty much. But that's all I want to do. Just one that me. But I'm not suited to fight. Not like this. Uh, only five mods left. I could look for like a different uh, different part of the map just to kill them alone, but uh, I'm gonna try to go back. I forgot to leave the party then. This actually sucks, but you cannot go back. Yeah, I could just swim from this shore, but it is not worth the time. I need to like attack three mobs. I think I'm gonna go dungeon now. In this case, I just fast be right back. I need to go to the toilet. I think worse than going to the toilet. Well, you are matchmaking, cause then you you are not going anywhere. <laughs> Okay, I'm back. Uh, yeah, I thought about it now, very shortly. I should have probably give up on that group, go in a corner, change my build, and rejoin my party. So I think that was a mistake on my part now. Because I thought like, ah, maybe if I just push, finish the contract fast, it's gonna be fine, and yeah, you know, how it turns out usually. Yeah, I think I'll Butcher's Canyon. I would love to get that. Great sword done. Okay, so this is my build for uh, dungeons. It's like semi sorrow with two, two AOEs on crit, just in case. 
Mm -hmm. For PvP, I have a full uh, single target. I'm not using Guillotine because Guillotine is, uh, in my opinion, it's great damage, but it's charging a bit too long. And I went with this yesterday to Shadow Crypt. I actually was able to take like three or four people down. And I, I'm person that does not PvP, so no, it's good. But let's go butchers for now. Let's see how we're doing on Saturday morning. Yesterday, uh, in the day before yesterday, when I ran all the 4,000 tokens, it was really good. People were actually coordinating really good the mechanic with the... The only dungeon they are still struggling with as a random party is High Mills. I don't know why, it's not that hard. But um, for some reason, they just cannot get it right. I think this is the problem of the matchmaking now. But the random matchmakers are refusing to join if they want to run a random dungeon but a certain dungeon, you know, to just cheese extra rewards. That's why uh, devs are gonna put uh, penalties. Because like someone said, you are not supposed to eat the cake and have a cake. Yeah? If you are applying for random dungeons and you want extra re rewards, you need to run whatever comes. But then you are messing up the whole part. Much? Jumping on elevators, I mean, what happened to people? <laughs> no, lemon, ah, there we go. No, I'm almost each time we're like going with the elevator, someone will jump. I don't know why, but we're doing that. <laughs> if you are not a tank, um, you just fall. You are not killing anything, just follow, because each tank has a different preference here, as if he wants to go all the way to the end, like he, uh, or he wants to stop somewhere in the middle. It's up to preference of the tank, and you should leave that job to him. The only problem is that if he put the... Um, I don't have that many areas to deal with this mass of mobs. I'm more focused on uh, being able to actually do damage to the both of the end. And again, I just don't have time to, to change my mid, mid run. Respawn here. It's not a problem if you get turned into a ship and die. Just wait for the respawn horn to be the one in the air. It is expected to happen if actually don't respect killing the shape shifters. You could kill a shape shifter, but I. People just focus here on killing the elite and just going on because see the spawn respawn point is here. So it's, it's okay to just die and respawn. It's gonna be like one second to come back to the party. <gasps> Shit, fell under them.
<laughs> yeah, this couldn't happen here. Because there's no police to take you up. So this is uh, information for devs I need to write about this tool. In this dungeon, we can actually fall down. There should be pulleys to take you up. Or yeah, because the location is made from the actual map location, they cannot uh I didn't escape, what the fuck? Can I die? There we go. I should have done it. And yeah, the, sca the escape option doesn't work. Where the fuck am I? Here. <laughs> I don't even know how I fell. Yeah, I need to write feedback about this because this is not good. Shit happens, yeah. Just inform your party about what's going on. Hey, if this happens to you, just uh, just try to die. And if you can, then you maybe try escape. And if it still doesn't work, then actually then I need to I need to write people about it. <laughs> okay. Could this happen on the screen? Because I can actually clip it and show the devs what happened. And to address this a bit. I mean, it's not happening a lot, but the fact that it is happening is bad enough. Kill the intruders! Kill them all! I'll cut you down! What the fuck? I think I, I clicked a bit. Oh. There's a major missing. Shit, did I bomb? I don't know. I'm not sorry, it's a fun mechanic, but I'm not necessarily fun of jumping runs. Because, yeah, if something like this happens, then uh, it's not your fault, and you are screwing the part. Yeah, this, but jump as soon as you see the fire coming, not uh, when it's about to teach you, because it's going to be too Always look up because it's easier to see which one you need to jump. Let's see, this happened at 1 hour long, to remember later, to clip it for deaths. 
to send some feedback pretty much. Okay, we still have um, something. Oh, we have a boss. What bosses do we have? I mean, the is nice. Everyone's going to go drone bot, so maybe I have chance to at least get something from this. For example, boots. Boots is something I need. Are these gloves, but I'm gonna be using the gloves for chimeras, so I would like the boots. Not, I'm not interested in anything from Junbot. This is for more like uh, endurance build. This would be good if this would have hit points. It doesn't have hit points traits at all. Otherwise, it's really, really decent rope, but the chances to get it are extremely minimal. Yeah. Because everyone's gonna go drum bot. And because devs decided, hey, only rich can get the loot, and you yourself being a gamer peasant, so you can just hope for some scrap. I don't recommend going to the popular bosses if you don't have top gear. Yeah, you're just gonna get this grant. Right now, the world boss gear situation is so, uh, in my opinion, or of the opinion that for us regulars they are useless content. Why? Because the tokens of resistance you need 40, 40 bosses to make one chest and it's of resistance so you would be doing it anyway only for, for, for a trade. Yeah, for, from perspective of already being uh, changing to epic gear and grinding regularly this is useless and they added the RNG chest uh, to the initial box reward that you can get the box that contains the gear but I'm pretty sure is the chance to get it is like 0, 0.00 something so again it's useless for us so they have two ways to go about it they can either make it RNG for everyone and maybe increase quantity of items that are dropping here Maybe depending on how many participants are on the boss. No. Because let's say you cannot make like that he's gonna drop 20 items because on some bosses you have exactly 20 people, so everyone's gonna get the loot. And in a game design perspective here, it would be bad decision for them. Because they initially want you to buy the gear. They make these small ways of like you can almost de get the gear, but you're always gonna miss something, and they hope you're gonna buy it. Yeah, that's why the design is like this. Because right now they decided that rich are supposed to get the best loot because they hope you, as a casual gamer, will be thinking like, "Hey, I need more gear to get that loot, so maybe I should buy it." And here's, yeah, that's the whole mystery. All. All the tiny steps are just little pushes, unconscious push pushes to make you think that maybe you should buy some some gear. Yeah, don't fall into that if you are a PvE player, really. Just don't. Because then the question is, if you already bought the gear, what what do you need more gear for? In terms of like gameplay. Yeah. Of course you can buy skins, this stuff and all that, but uh, if you are just like me, you want to have good time in the game, have reason to play the game, and you are a more of a PvE player than you. Manage your stuff, buy your lucens, yeah sure, get lucens, but we are selling what you drop. Mm. Dog is getting a bit uh, unhappy because the neighbors are too loud, again, in the hallway. I don't know if you guys also have this kind of hey, that literally are like coming out of their houses and talking loud on a hallway. Like, can they talk in their houses and just go through the hallway and go about their day? I don't know what's about it. These people. Because when you live in a blog, yeah, yeah, you have neighbors, but uh, back then when I was a kid, like talking on the hallway was considered rude to people living in a house because you can hear everything now it's like oh boy no one cares about anything 
that's what. No one. Let's see. Ten minutes. No. Well, it'll be fine. Exactly. And yeah, in ten minutes the night is gonna be over, so we can enter the shadow creep. Look. Right, and also for Nazarga I should just change one skill here. Actually I should change all of them. I can actually go with the PvP beard on him. I know. Yeah, it's so... You see, this is the problem. We had matchmaking, but probably two players saw that we are in Butcher's Canyon, who are playing for a random dungeon, and they are refusing to join because they want to roll a different dungeon. And we have to play. So people being disgruntled now that uh, it's punishing, um, let the design be like... This is mess, man. Random dungeon, you mean means you're gonna run a random dungeon. That's it. So they can either go about it like like they said they're gonna punish people for abandoning that quest, which in my opinion is good, uh, or they just should uh, overall maybe increase the token. Certain dungeons. I I Because indeed I would be running random dungeons if I don't need any particular item, but for example I want to have the weekly done. Yeah. So then I find the group much faster. I don't care where I'm going. Uh, as long as the, the group is assigned fast, we go through with the Shape. Yeah, don't damage shape shifter um, unless you are sure the, the, rest of, the rest of the things are taken care of. If they, uh, if no one else is like focusing on it, we're gonna get turned into a ship and no one is going to come. Because uh, if you don't damage him, he's not going to turn into a ship. Yeah. You don't be using that spell if you stop hitting him. So don't hit him. <laughs> Dude, I don't want this. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what the Da Vinci to help people regen a bit faster. Let the tongue go first. 
wonder what it is. Did someone follow them up? Maybe he did. I mean, that's why he did. Uh... Yeah, he probably followed them up. He had to go back. I thought guys just give them up to the wing. Pull them all the way into the foot. Stop. Come on, the dragon is stealthy there before me. Oh, I would understand if that would be a good uh, fruit. Fruit start. There's one more shapeshifter there, you want to kill him, because if someone is gonna attack him, it's gonna be more than us. Or you can ignore him, if you are sure that you're not going to... Nice, that was a very nice thing with that kid. Don't pull him, guys. And they pulled him. And they pulled him. Our ship situation here again. But you can't jump over it. Oh, that was nice. Oh, it's wrong, died. Hey, hey, how do you It seems <laughs> for shipification. They were gonna arrive at the end. Three minutes to three minutes to kill this one. Kill the intruders! Kill them all! I'll cut you down! So good. I recommend using this girl in the dungeons because you might have simply uh, damage out. But when this girl has one target, she is releasing still the same amount of projectiles on two and half. To jump. Come on, boy. They did much to defend Fury attack. Make sure to not step into it. Because not all the circle is uh, available. Make sure you step onto non burning plates. Only in the first uh, first phase you we have a full circle available to us. Might have a second ship phase. Because we have one between us. Most likely we will have a ship.
Dragon. Mm -hmm. Always be sure uh, to jump in mid on the ship, right? Because sometimes people get CC and they cannot move on the ship. And I'm just in time. <laughs> Make it to the portal. And I got the hoodie, I saw it. It's a very nice hood. Into rush. Rush, rush, rush to me, Zerok. There's still PvP happening. Or not. No, there's no door here. As the door closes. This part. I never checked how the Shadow Crypt is functioning at night, if it's actually closed or not. The Salio Abyss is closing, you cannot teleport to Saurodoma. I don't know, I don't know. I'm going to go to portal number 4 because everyone's rushing to this. And many people see there's a portal. This weekend, but might be many more. There is many more people. Yeah, let's check the other field. Maybe it's gonna be better for this purpose. Change with lightning, because lightning will do a little bit more damage. And I will need to change this to guillotine. Guillotine has a bit lower cool. Just a single target. Excellent. Change. I would like to have fourth one reset. Oh, no, no. And that's how it's gonna be. I keep the mine on PvP because I can actually have second stun with it and I don't think other people see it. It's a good backup to like, you see someone coming to you, you can already place that mine, this one. You can also increase the range of placing, which is also good. And like, they're gonna come at you with a stun, they get stunned, so they are avoiding uh, getting combo. Yeah. This is a useful skill, because not many people use it, so they do not expect it. Uh, also, yeah, guys, you don't need to join any party at World Boss, so don't panic if you're like left without the party. It's a solo damage contribution only. Solo. Being in a group is just for like buffs, heals, this kind of stuff. And looking at the situation that now healers contribute by uh, healing party themselves, even if they are full hit points. Uh, this is not ideal situation to even be in a party if you are like top DPS. So right now healers are getting twice as much as DPS contribution because they get points for healing people or themselves on full health. Yeah, so this is like a fortress. So they get twice as much. So me, a peasant with 2.8, I can just dream about the view. Yeah. So for me, being a party here is, is useless. I think I'm gonna keep this hat. This is a good replacement. Most of the guides are invasion build like mine. Must be recommend like Phantom Wolf set, but um, even if you get some uh, bonuses, extra bonuses for set, the thing is not all 
pieces in this set that are particularly useful for what you want. I want crits, I want evasion. Hit points are also in a big favor because when you have 12,000 hit points and you fire some kind of uh, massive attack on dungeon boss, you might survive. And this is actually very important. Because um, being allowed to make a tiny mistake is good. Yesterday there were like 20 people. This is another problem. When it's lying this much, I cannot see my damage properly, so I don't know if I'm doing actually as much as I'm supposed to without this luck. Yeah. So I don't know if my contribution is even like worth a time here with this kind of luck, because I don't see a number. But this is dying. This is like, you don't count on wall bosses right now if you want to do it. Just don't count, because you don't want to get disappointed. This is just the weird to put this box. This is possible rewards. And it's probab probability right? which is probably not even uh, set what the probability rate. And I bet that rate is so low that oh, you might just uh, quit the game faster than get anything from it. Connor uses some PvP mode right now. I don't know if it's worth going there. Before I was going to the conquest once just to get that box or to get just additional token, but the tokens are useless for me. They are just useless. The world bosses are just They are useless to me as a casual player. And I am the leader of the guild, I'm allowing all my guildmates, or people who want to join, get the root. I'm not, uh, I'm not taking the root. I'm not someone who wants to get gains from other people's luck. You know? Well, this is really fun when like you are actual casual player and you see that you finally got something from a world boss and then you see it's not in your pocket but it's in a guild storage and do your reader decides that hey someone else needs it more or I'm just going to sell it and you would actually want to use it. This is the situation that's problematic for most people. Oh, so yeah. World bosses right now are just uh, eh. It's an equal of Garmov in Black Desert Online. You just go there hoping for something, but you know you're not gonna get anything. That's pretty much it. And today I can go back to Saurodom and actually finish. You could probably like uh, swim from here, but it's not that far. But I'm, I was just curious. And I knew, wait, I have one more dungeon. How about I let first finish the poker and stuff? Oh, dungeon. And yeah, then I'm going to have also a lunch break. I'm going to take my dog out. What am I doing? The wrong one. <laughs> yeah, wait, let me show you. Yeah. See? This is not that far. So if you actually want to go there at night, you can. And there's a port, see? You have, you have a port here, you can climb here, and you, the only problem uh, you have is that usually you would jump from this waypoint to the lake. If you arrive here, you actually have to walk through the whole island to get to find your way. But that's the only inconvenience. No. Uh, now it's uh, time to change it back the mine. So yeah, guillotine is great. It's a great, great attack, but charging takes time. 
in PvP you don't you don't want things that take time. You have this money. It has a low long cooldown, but you can have stun and it's 80%, which is pretty good, and setup range. Uh, what setup range means? Setup range means that show you that this circle of you being able to set your trap is bigger. So you don't set up your trap only around you. You can for example in a situation that someone is ranged, you know he's gonna be ranged, you can set it up here. And then he's gonna get stunned from a position of ranged class, giving you advantage. It's a it's a useful little tool. I think. I tried it yesterday and it proved really good. Because they did not expect it. Everyone is always always charging first thing with a stun. So yes, they would stun me, but then the bomb would explode, stunning them. And then we are both out of stun and ready to fight. And I actually have my stun ready then. I have only two soldiers left. So I have a thousand tokens. I don't think I'm going to use them right now. Oh, okay. I like their deserve that. Ah, it's pretty good then. So I'll take care of these two. Then contacts here. Then I can finish the sea. Oh my god. So much this way. That is actually furious. That's what I'm taking. The AOE build. It's so much. <laughs> I think if there will be actually a party going right now, I'll probably join, but because there's not many people right now, I don't think anyone is here. I, think, uh, I don't think I'm gonna stay long. This particular spot, I no longer have contracts either. Yeah. Any party. Just a bunch of solo people. That's what I don't like. People just tag, want to tag your mob for contact and then the mob run away with them. Oh, 4000 tokens would give me probably around 20 minutes here. Line, maybe. I have a slot. Slots. Slots. In my back. We want a group. Oh, we're gonna keep one person. I'm gonna keep looking for good then I'm gonna throw them at home. But I would like for us to not be a leader really.
think I'm going to have much of a choice. Ready? Okay, which one I'm going to? Oh! Okay, thank you. I have both. Oh, what, looks... oh. what to do? No matter what I can do about it. Are people making coffee in the Oh, it sounds like next part of the game. Oh, it's a lot faster than the day guy with this guy. I mean, I'm not sorry about the keep up with my headphones. The solo, solo target in this shit. <laughs> Yeah, of course, like 30 years. He's somewhere else completely. You are someone who joins the party. Don't expect the leader to follow you. You should follow the leader. Really. That's why most parties don't, don't really do it. Yeah, I think I'll be fine. Too. I mean, there was a lot of people, and these people just disappeared. Yeah, I can't really do anything on this, this build. Either I go more targets, and I survive, or... Okay. the range ones. Oh, 3000 is a big turret. Where are all the people that were looking for the party? Really? Yeah, I'm going like this aim to have the other build. Freaking cool down man. Annoying. Annoying to wait for your build when you have skills like this. There is some small part but they don't seem to be very very efficient there. Oh my god. Or you could just change your skills as if, if you are out of combat, pretty much. That that I would like. So the other one is gonna go. Not the fastest on the planet, but sure it's faster than the other one. Oh, yes, it's not suitable for, for the pulling I was doing before, because so you have only two AOE skills. Yeah, right now I don't have contracts, so I don't want to like um, exhaust my tokens. The best way to do it is 
Join this party. It's only three people. It's gonna be bigger. Okay. Like for the moment there was nothing. There's like three people going here. Yeah, this person is gonna be too busy just targeting other people mobs. I don't join such parties because it means they are wasting. I'm here to also use my tokens and just do contact. It's it's not just not good. To form of this build, yeah, who is that? See how many fury attacks they have, and they stun so much. That's why I'm not a fan of using this build here. Because see how many like these rats they have, way too many. But I don't, we don't want to have charged attacks. Because you won't have a chance to use them. Aren't they like two people only? I wanna see how this goes. Oh, sword and shield. Why are you pulling this much body if you are dying? This is what I don't get. Yeah, run away. Give me some moblings, maybe. I'll take this single foot so they're not recruiting. Because there's that concept that says that if you actually have less people in your party, you have higher chance of getting their people loot. There is that that rumor. I'm not going so I'm not looking for a party. So each party I join has like three people or two people and they're not organized. They're not trying to pull the untarded mobs, they are just going with everyone else on already target mobs. It means they are not getting any loot. So for me who wants to change the contracts, tokens, it's it's pointless to join such party. I'm hoping to maybe find other one that's going to advertise. Do I advertise no one join? No one is interested right now. I think the guys want up. They want up. Oh boy, the ugly weather. Yeah, like I said, the same thing I'm doing. No one joins after advertising, and I see someone uh, staying with our mob, being alone, and I try to invite him. I'm also trying to grab mobs around other grinding groups. Maybe they notice. Small butcher. Tag a small butcher. And if more people are tagging it, then this is like almost like a wall just based on your damage contribution. Deciding who gets the who gets the wood on him. He never drops, literally. He never drops anything good, ever. Pulling more, but I know I cannot take it too well as I have a garden.
I'm not as good as the target. They never build my crossbow skills are staying exactly the same, so it's easy to swap. I need fury skills, but they know I was not good. One and the other pushing it. I feel like all of these people that go along here. You know, a big party at all. Uh, it's a mess. I know it's a mess. And it would be really, really annoying to make a group right now, because uh, see, there's no mobs, there's no coordination at all. Um, I wouldn't even know where to pull these guys. Sometimes there's just no, no good group here, and that's it, that's the matter. I don't mind just going solo with you. In the group you don't really actually see your efficiency. You are all, all these people are just blasting one mob, that, that's what I do. This is the kind of parties I don't like. So this kind of party is also going to tend to follow me where I'm actually like, gathering all, all this camp and they are sitting there uh, trying to kill one more. Fun for free fury attacks one after another. This is crazy actually. You cannot cast anything because they have too many fury attacks. They really don't understand how much damage they do. Four or five mobs on two people is, is okay. Because that's how I was grinding it. Not my heart there. And he was still playing. It is pleasant to go to people. You are a bit more organized to... So... Yeah, it just would be not fun. So going through group is, is also like extremely efficient if you're very fast. I know that I personally am not in any rush. As you can see. <laughs> One I'm not going to fight. I mean, there are just two. And... They are doing really great because they have a good uh, coordination and good uh, good combo. One tank, one big yes. What a mess! See, a lot of people, a uh, lot of people without parties, is causing this kind of uh, havoc here. <laughs> Comparing to the one before I went to dungeons, this is a mess. Everyone's hoping for a party, but there's simply no party. Oh. I don't know, 3000 folk, and I don't want to hear that one. I 
wish I could run more dungeon. The dungeon is actually something I really like to run. I so much like I there was no fear out on this one. I need to check it again there's no more people. But some kind of normal attack that are still developing me. Very annoying. Yeah, this is a becoming a bad out in any kind of uh, abyssal situation. I might have to abuse them a bit. I can't experience and actually start pulling more mobs. I'm afraid randoms are just going to come and swarm. Like they are swarming to everyone more here. I think I'll not a single party. So, only a private party, probably. I'm not starting one anymore because I'm not sure if I'm going to stay here. Ah, come on. See how many freaking attacks they have? Man, it's crazy. I'm happy I got the footage of these two troll deaths. Always. So empty. So full yet so empty. Everyone by themselves. Right. the guild a bit. I can't? Why? Ah, because of the freaking go. I got only last it's on the guild. Oh then. I so much deserve it. Only waiting for a oh boy I have 28 seconds. Okay I'm going to spin 28 seconds again. I don't want to just take care of this group or the two dungeons. Because doing this amount of mobs on this build is going to be tiny in the ass, because you have literally six mobs to disrupt your skills. The charging one. On the other one, I don't have any charging skills. Yeah, if you are getting disrupted, you won't really do any damage on it. It, 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 it. The one. There we go. I can do something. Yeah, like I said, if you're spinning along the map, someone's gonna have to be on the map. I'm not abusing this animal, so yeah, like, literally there's no party. There's no group, I mean, like, the group. Yeah, they are spamming, I really like them too. I think Shadow Crypt is having a bit of less of this um, Fury attacks. I think that's why I like it a bit more. I'm gonna think I'm gonna get them out of here. Morning was nice, morning was really nice. Because I got some cold ball. We're gonna we'll probably jump into a longer bit of Scanyan. And then I will have a whole week without any dungeon. Because this this is restoring way too slow. Dungeons are fun to run, but uh, yeah, I usually always had uh, full tokens because I was not running that many through the day. And two days ago I used them all. This is, and I understand why this is annoying. I would like to run more. They are fun. This is 
I mean, this is fun if we actually manage to find a good group, but... So... Yeah, I would love to run more damage. <laughs> it turns we can turn. So let's let's go do one more one more butcher. I want this sword. Just one more sword so I can uh, change the traits because I'm missing four trade stones and I have no clue where to get them at this point. So yeah, one more butcher. Good. Two. Maybe why I'm not running the other build in Butcher's Canyon, even if there is a lot of things to AoE, is because I don't have time to swap to this one. This one is made to, made to deal more damage to a single target. And that's more important in the dungeon. It's, yeah, it's mostly because people just don't wait for you to swap your skills. See, this is what's this is what's happening uh, if people are complaining. Like, I just want to run butchers. We have parties, but people are playing randomly and they are just uh, not accepting, and we end up in this endless loop. Not even mine. There we go. Yeah, I mean, literally, I would have to take like a few days of break from doing anything in front of Liberty. Other than like daily mystic mythical keys, because I don't have tokens to run the stuff. Because I run stuff through the last two days. And the problem is, guys, like if I don't have stuff to run, I have nothing to stream, pretty much. And just streaming me grinding random mobs for some blue belt, I don't think this is very engaging. Because I, I don't even know what to talk about doing that. This when I'm running dungeons or abyssal, I can at least throw you some tips or, or explain what's happening. But just grinding like in... I was grinding in Black Desert, or uh, random mobs. No. <laughs> Basically, I should grind some of the random mobs, because, for example, I need a belt of prowl combat prowess from Lycans. Uh, but uh, that's a target farming, because it only drops from sentries. I'm talking about this belt. It only drops from sentries, and uh, they are not very, very many and plenty on the map. They are very spread all over the place. Oh shit! I, didn't. Yeah, I, I have a problem. I don't know if I have a wrong build. Why my ship? I don't want to be ship. Where's the shape ship? Where's the shape ship? Stop them! Night? He very tight, he's best to not kill us. The explosion ship is going to damage your party. And uh, I know he should wait for the respawn. Because now he will have to wait for the elevator, and it's gonna take longer time. Not a big problem, yeah, but uh, it's just a tip. If you die at this, at this point, wait for the new respawn. Otherwise, you will have to wait for the elevator to go all the way down to take you all the way up again. It's very uh, good. It's just not the idea. And try not to, not to damage the way. And someone take the ship off me. We have the... yeah, I'm making sure we have this respawn point. If the guy is only coming now, the one who died before. Ah, try to not aggro this guy. You can avoid aggro this mode, by the way. Just stick to the right side. Here you can push all the way. Or you can stop at the shapeshifter, but I think you can just continue. 
You are not required to kill any amount of mobs with this part, so you can pretty much just clear the area as, as long as it's uh, comfortable to do, the, do, to do the mechanic, you know? So that's, that's the point. And the fact that I don't have that many ways is not visible here because we are, we are many people. Isn't it just Oh, come on. They could at least let us kill it after the second one. Come on. I don't know how to answer the question that someone is going as a DPS with swords and shield. I mean, they have a right to use so whatever they want. I don't know what to say about it. that he has hidden stuff so might mean he's still gearing up, so maybe he's not confident about, about his uh, aggroing skills. I don't think asking people that is, is nice though. He's playing sword, I'm sure, but he also has a great sword. Great sword is for the gear. That hard mode because then the circle is going to be up here. Damn, yeah, I can survive this. The elevator is still not working. Oh my god, it's very bad. Of course. Okay, now I have a second shift face. Okay, that was last dungeon. Being kicked out of the island. Hey, let's uh, let's find last keys, and I pretty much run out of stuff to do. Hey, 
Let's look for the globes. This is the best spot to do it. The locations are easy to reach, so are the portals. Yeah, just like this. And just keep going around. We need to have like 20 keys in just circled area, they are going to reset in the same spots. in the woods here. Jump, jump over the river. I don't know. This one should be at the exit here. If it's not up, it's right here. back to town, check for the peddler. And I don't think I will have patience to run that many Halloween dungeons. Because right now we just trade stones left. I ran out of stuff to do. <laughs> I have no tokens, I have only 4000 of this. Totally yeah, well, it's obvious you didn't sleep all night. And sleep. <laughs> ah, good, good timing, because I'm gonna probably I will wrap it up because I literally have nothing else to do. I need to let the game. Make any characters? No. Well, I would make new character if the storage would be short. <laughs> it's not. Mm. Okay, that was better, that was it. Oh, see what I got. Are you? Check out this new equipment. <laughs> Favorite! Welcome! Oh. <laughs> Mana. Amazing. Think the trash. Critical chance is good. Hit points on weapons are very rare for me though. Uh, not useful, not useful, although... Yeah, it's gonna be a bit before I actually unlock traits, traits on this, so I'm going to scrape the hearts for now. Uh, bracelets. Hit points are good, this is great. Hit points and skin damage the resistance, you don't wanna throw it away. These are everything else. And just store it for later. Because you wanna use them to upgrade your epic while having the blessing. Yeah. So keep keep your stuff. So do I still uh, then buy, I buy some magical chance good trade stones that I need? Oh no. I'll maybe buy the buggy from merchant because if you don't need the gear pieces anymore from dungeons you can use them to get trade stones uh, tokens you get from dungeons this it's sandry's merchant here the senior one 
Feel free to take the accessory. Yeah, it was accessory. This one. Oh, she has a small box. This gives you uh, trade stones. I'm missing too many. <laughs> Idol Island. Can I already open all the boxes from Battle Pass? Nothing I can do. Like for, for example, now I would have to wait. Just to the run them. Only one token. Oh, it's, it's worth it if you don't need pieces. What do we have in shop? Didn't check. Trade stones now. I don't even know. I mean, these gems are used for crafting. I don't craft them. This is useful. This is always useful. They are harder to get than the red ones. Tokens. Yeah, I'm gonna for now just port Battle Pass Crystal. I'm done for the day. Do something. I can't. <laughs> I literally can't. But 4,000 uh, is not gonna be long of a grind anyway. So Go and jump. Mushrooms? No. no. I'm gonna probably just gather myself. Probably to also eat lunch and take the dog outside. Oh, yeah. It was short, but at least it was uh, very informative. Oh yeah, I'm gonna wait to reset some of these tokens. Hopefully two days is gonna be enough. And then come back with more stuff and more dungeons. So we see.